Hey, what are you doing to this poor chicken? I'm giving it an Epsom salt bath. Is it special? No. Poor oh. thing. She doesn't feel good. No, I think she's egg bound. An egg bound chicken. I think so. I was watching a Justin Rhodes video the other day and he said something. He just mentioned that one of his kids was taking care of a a chicken that was walking around like a penguin. And I thought, I have one that's walking around like a penguin too. So I looked into it <coughs> and they said that that could be a sign of being egg bound and so you need to take care of it pretty quick. So poor thing, she hasn't been doing very well. So I found her laying down, thought she was dead, oh, but she's not. So I'm giving her a little tummy massage and kind of gross, yeah, and Epsom salt. She's real crusty and poopy. <coughs> So you have to clean her off and let the Epsom salt get up inside of her vent. Hopefully get the egg out. I have no idea how it works, but the magnesium is good. They said too she needs more calcium. The airplane. I was thinking on the path to the airport. So how but look, her little head is all like been pecked on. I need to give her some put that purple peck no more on her head. Well, we're going to put her in the brooder for a few days and see if she There's will There's a light in there. There's a light in there. Are you going to put one in there for her? It's already there. We just got to turn it on. Okay. So, maybe we can make it see she will recover. Give her some food and water and some time to rest. Yeah, her feathers on her belly are all crusty and her belly's like bloated. I give her a little bath. I've given her little bits of water in a cup. You want some more water? She drinking any of it? She did. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Want some more? Sometimes you gotta this take a chicken to the hospital. I guess. I don't know. I told Haley we, I was gonna give the chicken a bath. She was like, sounds fun. Is that a Rhode Island Red? Could be. Yeah, I think it is. Not really. It's okay. She's like hunching down. What you doing, baby? Her feathers are just torn up. Like, her tail feathers are barely there. So. Anyway, she's supposed to sit in here for at least 30 minutes. They say. 30 minutes and an Epsom salt bath. Sounds good to me. I know. <laughs> I'm hoping that magnesium soaks into my hands. So good we'll, for you. We'll put her in the brooder or the sick chicken. She's got a, Yeah, well, she's got I had to put her in the brooder, some, though, because it's so hot in there. It is hot in there, and there's no airflow. We we'll put her in the other yep. that white cage, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that little kennel cage thing. Yeah. That might be better. Cool. Hey, so while you're soaking this chicken, giving it a bath, I went and got the mail. Look what came in the mail. You know what that is? Bonfire. Wait, wait, wait. Custom made for me. Custom made for you. Wear bonfire, it says. Hashtag wear bonfire. What we got in there? What is it? Oh my goodness. Look what we have. We're official. We're official. Homestead homies. We are. One of the Homesteading, Homesteading Conference. Life Conference. Homesteading Life <laughs> Conference. In Hannibal, Missouri. Doug and Stacy. Oh my One of gosh. our favorite YouTubers. So we're going to go see these guys in just a few weeks. What size is that one? This one is mine. It's extra large. This one <laughs> is a little bit smaller. Isn't and that's that for the you. cutest thing ever? That's a neat design, isn't it? They do a good yes. job. I'm so excited. Look, one of the little lamies. Container growing. Awesome. It's very cool. So if you haven't registered, it's time to do that. I don't know. It might be sold it, out. It might be sold out, but you might Only still be able to get a, a ticket. Days. We're also looking forward to the dinner on the uh, on the what's that called? A paddle boat? 
paddle boat. Paddle boat on the Mississippi this is River. Yep. That'll be a lot of fun. It so. will be. We got our tickets last year. Last year we ordered. We got we bought our tickets. So. Yep. Um, we're looking forward to seeing all of uh, our favorite YouTubers there. Mike Dickinson and who else? Doug and I don't Stacey. know. I can't keep track. White House on a Hill, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I Hopefully, don't know. some of our favorites will be there, like uh, Living Traditions. I hope they'll be there. I have no idea. You have no idea. I have no idea. So, anyway, it'll be fun. It will be fun. I'm looking forward to it. That means I got to get some stuff done at work so I can get ready to go. You got to get all the farm chores done and. Our favorite farm sitters to come take care of things while we're gone. That's right. Awesome. All right. So she says there is a ceramic feeder on top of that coop, so I'm gonna have to get that for the sick chicken. But check out these guys. We got these 39 chicks we're raising to be pullets for some folks that want backyard chickens, and they are uh, beautiful, happy, and doing very well. Let's see if I can find that thing. some of the soaked feed for that poor bird and see if we can nurse it back to health. All right, so Alice has her new little cart here. She's going to pull the stuff out for, for the chickens to feed them. Let's see if I can just scoop some of the soaked grain out of the bottom of this. Put it in there for our patient. So, in the summer, we're just soaking the feed in a five-gallon bucket to sort of ferment it over a day, and uh, helps it be more digestible. And the chickens really love it. So I put a little bit of that in there for the patient. Give the rest of this to the other birds. So we'll come back out and do that in just a minute. Well, we were hoping to get some cut flowers this year, but. We do have a little bit of chamomile, so we can make some tea and things out of it, but these sunflowers have done pretty well. Haven't grown quite as large as we like, but they're still doing well and very pretty. And over here, we have a few zinnias. They're doing pretty good. And then we have all these that are really pretty flowers, but some of them have already turned to seed. We'll try that again next year. In the greenhouse, I have not been able to keep up with, with um, pruning these guys the way that I'd wanted to. Just, But the plants are huge. It is mid-July. Mid We've got lots of flowers on these guys. And some of them have set fruit. So we have to check these out and see Keep an eye on them every day. But yeah, all of these in here. Oh, there's a limb. I need to I need to get that one staked up. It's really just these little tomato clips holding all these guys up to the to the fencing. So it's it's doing a good job. I really like it. But I need to need to do some pruning in here. Watering system is doing really good, keeping all these guys nice and moist and cool, and it's cooling the soil off. And then for all the ones we have out here, got the cherry tomatoes, they're just going prolific. We've got tons of two different kinds of basil and honeybees and some of the flowering basil from our beehives out there. And then we have these beautiful yellow pear tomatoes. One of my favorites, I really like these, they're very good. We have those. <coughs> And then we have these little guys, which are very pretty, like these tomatoes. A lot of these need to be picked. Got a bunch of ripe ones right in here on that. See all those? Really nice tomatoes. And then on some of our large ones, the larger tomatoes, we have, they're doing pretty good as well. Staked up just like in the greenhouse and clipped to these cattle panels using the tomato, the tomato clips. But on the large beefsteak type, these guys are all doing really good too. We've got still some 
<coughs> that are that are flowering and some that are producing and some that I need to get more more stakes on and get these guys tied up again and do a little better job on weed control this next year I hope but um, yeah even the Romas are coming along doing really well got red ones and we got some green ones so doing very well You'll carry the chicken, I'll carry the seed and the, the water. The water, water. We'll have to get a water out of the pond. This water right here. Hmm? Okay, we'll take that too. Chicken in a under glass. Is that chicken? What about a pig in a glass? Too dark. That's pretty light. It'll be alright during the day. They want, them, they want them to be in the dark when you do this to relax them. I'm not sure so. You want to put her in there? Then we'll get her for the water set up. Doesn't know whether she's coming or going. Alright, here's a little chick waterer. Water in there. We need a piece of wire we still have a piece that was on the bag. No piece. No piece of water. No piece. Well, it's okay. one thing we got plenty of is duct tape and bedding wire. And know how to use it? No problem. Okay, Chicken. You're sitting up anyway. Just keep her in and everything All else. Puffs. Oh. Tomorrow. Uh, catch a catch a, a gnat. Oh, mosquitoes and whatever. It's like, look, creepy.